components about being an artist, at least for me personally, is about the process. Doing the art and like watching my hand make the marks and then taking a step back afterward, afterward and deciding what it actually meant and what it means to me and in a way that allows me to put myself in the shoes of the viewer. What inspires me to paint? <laughs> everything. Like, li just literally everything. Experiencing life, like, I'm just an artist at my core, you know? My boyfriend will literally look at my school ID and be like, <laughs> Kaylin Grop, the marketing and entrepreneurship major, and just laugh because that's so not me at all. <laughs> I feel like this is my life's emotions condensed into one painting. I painted my fist and just punched the hell out of it. I really did. I just came and punched it. And then it tore like this beautiful rip through it that I really wanted to accentuate and did. But I love to see these little things because the yarn that I sort of embroidered to, you know, get it to stay, it makes it feel like it's protruding like out of skin or out of a wound. Um, but then sometimes bad things can have great, beautiful outcomes. Mm. So I think about that. Burn holes are definitely like holes in your memory, I think for me anyway. I think they can be good, they can be bad, but you just forget shit. It creates space. I literally stole that one of my painting glass on the sir. I tried, I was unsuccessful. I think the actual act of burning does more for me than trying to paint them. And just little nuances, because there's nuances to life. Life is not black and white. Life is complicated and weird. There's also a middle finger in this painting that I tried to cover up. I don't know if you noticed, yeah. Um, this is the finger. This was originally like bumps for like the knuckles, and this line was for like the thumb. Your work is always gonna ebb and flow. You're not, it's never, progress is never linear. You're not just gonna keep getting better and keep getting better. You're gonna like have a really good, you know, burst of growth and you're gonna be like, wow, I can't believe I made that. And then maybe the next two paintings are like, uh, I'm, I'm not really feeling them. But you'll get it back again, you'll get it back. It's just regression to the mean, you know? You gotta fluctuate though. And that's kind of how life is. You can't just always be at the top of your game. I would say just take risks. You have a lot of, you know, tools and supplies while you're here. Look around, you'll find them. <laughs> Don't take other people's shit. <laughs> Don't take other people's supplies, please. It's so much easier when you're able to do something and then allow other people to like talk about it and just talk about this about their work because they will think about something that they s or like say something about your piece that they see that you never would have noticed. I think it's really interesting because you know like two people can be given the exact same stimuli and the exact same like conditions and still walk away with an entirely different interpretation. Or history major get slippers get studio slippers they're the best things i've ever invested in i love them so much because you're gonna be in here for long hours and it's gonna get really uncomfy being in shoes the whole time so get slippers um also because this floor is gross yeah so slippers slippers are the way to go <laughs> Just do the art. You'll figure it out later.